Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we secure a BI report using a custom role. So let's get into the steps involved in that. So the requirement is we want to enable access to a report to a user based on a role. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to create a custom BI abstract role and then assign that role to the user. Next is we want to create a custom folder example or our trainings in a bi catalog and by default you may have set of permissions we'll be removing all the permissions and assigning the custom role so let us see these particular steps in detail now so the first step is we have to create a role with a category of bi abstract role and now in our example the role name is xx or underscore bi role and after that once you create the role click on the next next and that in the seventh step you assign this bi role to the user so this is a first step, creating a custom role and assign it to the user. Next thing is, in the BI catalog, we'll create a folder. We can create any folder with your requirement based on requirement. In our example, we created a folder called Aura Training. Under that, I have a couple of reports, okay? Now, so in this folder, what we do is, first of all, you have a folder and a report. Now we want to restrict access to this particular folder to a specific user. So now what we do is, by default, we will have a couple of permissions on the folder. We will be removing all the permissions except the BI administrative role. So we'll just keep the BI administrator role as is and remove all the other roles which are assigned by default. And then the next step is we have to add the custom role to this particular Aura Trainings folder. And how do we do it? Just click on this plus symbol. It will ask you to the, mention the role name. Just mention the role name select the role and for that role you mention the permission as only open that's it you just mention the permission for that role as only open don't mention any other permission so once this role is assigned to the user and you know like the user should be able to access the folder so now let us try to see this information now let me show you the role information so this is the role so i'm in the security console and this is my role information let me show you the details of this role role name role code and the role category this is a very important one the role category is bi abstract role and in the in the other steps it does not need to have anything to mention just simply click on the seventh step called users and you assign the specific user for which you want to control the roles control the access so now i just assigned the username called sriram.erp tech at the gmail.com now next thing is we'll be navigating to the here yeah so here if you observe for this aura training so what I'll do is let us say, I'll create one more folder now. So to better understand what I'll do is I'll just create a folder now. Yeah, yeah. let's wait. I'll just reload the page. Okay, so in the custom, what I'll do is I'll just create a folder. So I'll say Aura Trainings 2. So this is my new folder. Now here if you observe by default, click on this folder, click on permission, and you could understand that it has a couple of by default roles. We have VA admin, other, many other things. I'll just simply remove one by one. I don't want any other role to be available for this particular role. So I'll just remove the roles. Okay. Then only BA administer role is there. Okay, now in this one, I'll just expand this and here I'll create a new data model. I'll create a new data model. Okay. So I'll just create this report. Custom. Or our trainings too. So this is a report. 
this is a data model and we got the information save as sample data create report simply click on finish so here per user details report click on ok now generate the template So now just click on view report. Okay, so the report is almost ready. So now what we do is I'll just click on catalog. So here, if you observe this particular new folder or our trainings two, this particular permission is not available for the other user called sriram.erp tech. Now here, if you observe, I logged in with the user sriram erp tech. So I'll just reload here. So now here, if you observe, I don't see that aura trainings too. I could see aura trainings, but I don't see the aura trainings too. Or let us say what I'll do is I'll just simply click on this open and it'll copy the path and try to open the same path for using other user and just see the error what you get it here. So it says that access denied for the user to this particular path. Now, what we do is now let us say as it is giving a denied permission error. So I'll just navigate back to this particular folder here and let us assign the role and see the difference. Then we'll understand, okay, how we are able to control a folder permission using a role. So I'll go to this particular folder now. So like, uh, I'll just click on custom. Now I'll just search the trainings to folder. So here, trainings to folder, click on more permission. And here you click on plus symbol and copy the role name. So this is our role name search it, assign it, and click on OK. And here you need to make sure that you change the permissions. Don't go with the default, click on open, and also give the permission to the subfolders also, not just folders. We have to give the permission to subfolders also. Now click on OK. Now let us go back to here, and now let us try to refresh or reload. Now you, could have, now you should be able to see the Aura Trainings 2 also. Then only our logic is correct. Okay, so let's see that. We are able to see the Aura Trainings 2 folder and also you can just try to reload the report. We should be able to execute it. Perfect. So this is how we can assign a role, a custom role to a report and secure it. Okay. So thank you.